what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be looking at the playstation vr2 pc adapter so uh, originally when this first dropped i was ready to go i started filming a tutorial and i was having some issues with the bluetooth so today we're just going to play some half-life alex i'm going to give you my first impressions um you're probably not going to be able to see from the gameplay just what it's like but i'm going to give you a good uh, idea and rundown of my experience with it anyway so I've never fully played this game, so I am looking forward to it. And now I think with this headset, it's probably a good time that I will jump into it properly. So, yeah. So, first of all, the headset, there was a big nightmare about getting this headset adapter in the first place. It was just really hard to get hold of. Uh, luckily, thanks to the method that Jammy Hero posted out about uh, buying the bundle on Amazon and then cancelling the actual headset that worked for me and i managed to get the thing on day one in the morning so i was luckier than most so thanks to jammy for putting that one out of there originally i used the a U green bluetooth adapter because it was 5.3 the minimum was 4.0 so i just figured you know i like U green and it's just gonna work but that was where the problem started um i was able to connect both a the controllers to it but I just could not get a tracking line when I was trying to set up the headset. So that was my first initial problem. So I literally went out and I picked up one of the few Bluetooth adapters that were available online that PlayStation have actually said or recommended. And I ended up going with the TP-Link one. And I still had some issues. I was managed... Whoa. A little bit distracted right now. But I was able to connect the Bluetooth up this time. The controllers were staying tracked, but there was some minor tracking issues where my left controller would literally just get stuck places and I could not play. So when playing this, I was trying to reload my gun and my hand was just stuck down here. So I did have that issue. But one of the main things I did fix that was downloading the TP-Link Bluetooth adapters oh manually yeah. from the website. And that seems to have really fix it. I use an extender now as well, which I actually got with the mic I'm using. So I was able to bring the Bluetooth adapter a little bit further away from the PC and the adapter. And that seems to help. And so far, so good. I'm having a good time with it. So that's all the main issues out of the way here. So we're going to talk about the good and the bad, but mostly good for me in my experience. So when you're using the PlayStation VR 2, the main thing you've got is the OLED and the HDR. Now we don't have the HDR natively on the PC which is unfortunate but I'm so pleased with how the OLED panel just lets you see all the colours in this and the blacks because that has always been the winner for this headset over others. So yeah immediately when I first booted up Half-Life by Alex I was greeted with the Valve logo and just the the amount of colour in that red Valve Valve looked incredible and just now being on this train just the, the darkness and the shadows and the, the dynamic range between them looks great try and kill these guys and even that like when you I'm probably going to lose some ammo here but popping this out and when you grab the clip like the colors and stuff on the gun and your your hood your display it just looks so vibrant and that's like a standout thing for me in this headset it's the the colors the brightness and yeah it does have a slightly wider view than the quest 3 and the quest 3 does have slightly sharper lenses because it uses those pancake lenses but it's a really tough choice between what is like the best one to use right now i mean you get the wireless with the quest which is great and obviously that opens up just for you to be able to play in different rooms in your house using the Wi-Fi. This is wired, but you are getting the uncompressed DisplayPort connection, which just gives you this like really nice image here. No artifacting or anything. And just looking at this, like the amount of detail that you can see on this, this game looks incredible and is so well optimized as well. I'm running this at 100% resolution scaler. Uh, while I'm recording, just because I didn't want anything weird to happen, but I'm, I'm using a 4090, and I was able to crank this up to 500% resolution, and it still ran great. No, but it 
So, you've got a lot of wiggle room with this game in particular. It really shows off the physics, the headset, the colours, so it's a real good game to try this thing out with. I'm just really looking forward to actually playing this game from start to finish. Because I've only ever used it as like a tech demo. Just like the amount of detail you can get when you're like picking these corpses up and stuff. That's one of the best things about this game is the definitely the physics of it. This isn't really a game review, but a lot of you guys have probably never played this because you've either been a a uh, console gamer and you're thinking about moving over to PC, or you've got a PC and you haven't had a VR headset. So just look at that. Like, look at the the beer in this bottle. It just looks so awesome. So, I mean, I don't have too much to say other than I'm really impressed. Now all the issues have been solved for me. There may still be people out there who do have issues. Um, hopefully they can be solved with software fixes or maybe it's a Bluetooth issue for yourself but now I've got this up and running it's a really great headset for PC honestly especially like I said with the colors and the contrast and the lights I just need to remember the buttons I'm out of bullets now so this might be a death but yeah, having a great time. Like, look at the red light on this. You aren't going to be able to tell from watching just my footage because I'm not shooting in HDR. And the game's not even in HDR, but it just looks really, really vibrant. And it's things I would never have really picked out, I don't think, when I was playing on Quest. Quest has the, the clarity and the sharpness. But when it comes to colors and light and darks, this headset is probably one of the best I can imagine there is. Ooh. It's not going to end well for me. So yeah, this isn't like a full-blown comparison review. This is just my thoughts on it. Unfortunately, like I said, that I did have issues with it setting up, but now it's all golden. And yeah, just really loving it. I've brought my PC downstairs just so I can have a bit more space to play because that is the main thing that detracts from me actually playing VR on PC is I don't have the room in my, my PC setup. So... Now I can just sort of have it down here and play. It is, it's great. So, we're going to wrap this video up by taking out these guys and seeing how many we can kill without wasting our ammo. We're out again. I guess this is the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some indication of what is good about this headset on PC. And yeah, if you've enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comment section or what games you think will be great to try out on this PC adapter with the OLED colors. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.